fellow scapers, my name is Kaidios, and thank you for clicking on the video. Before we start, I want to mention that Jagex is releasing a new Ice Mountain dungeon in April 2021, which is going to impact efficient training methods for free-to-play hardcore Ironmen. From what I can tell, the main skills that will be impacted, which we haven't gone over in too much detail, will be prayer, runecrafting, and melee-based combat skills. There will be other skills to train in the Ice Mountain dungeon like fishing, cooking, and mining. However, from what I can see, the XP rates for these skills will be less than what you would be able to do from the previous methods we discussed in earlier videos. The videos I'll be making in the future prior to the release of the Ice Mountain dungeon might not be the best methods anymore, however, I still feel that they're important to be shown. Once the Ice Mountain dungeon is released, I'll be making a new video for the series showing what the new meta for training those skills will be. If you've been following along with me, the new Ice Mountain dungeon won't impact any of the work you've previously done in your account. This video will focus on skills to train and items to receive prior to the Ice Dungeon update coming up in the next few months. With that long intro out of the way, let's get right into it. From the last video, you should have been able to follow the document I made and you should know how much iron ore you need to mine to reach level 99 smithing, in addition to how many air talismans that you'll need to collect in total for your tiara crafting runs for 99 crafting. In my case, I need to mine over 240,000 iron ore and also collect over 110,000 air talismans to adequately prepare for both the smithing and crafting grinds respectively. And I also feel that a lot of you will have similar numbers to what I have. From here, you have a choice. You may either go full salvo, mining the iron first, then obtaining all the air talismans, or you can alternate between the two. Personally, I'll be alternating between the two. If you want to break up the monotony even further, you can also do silver tiara crafting runs with the air talismans you may have already obtained. For mining iron ore, start in Falador's east bank and equip only your rune pickaxe. Turn your run energy on and click just inside the walls of the mining guild where the ladders are. Once you get close to the ladder area, right click and go down the ladder. Head over to the 4 rock iron ore spawn and once you arrive, turn your run energy off. You can mine the rocks in any order you would like, however I find that the best way is to mine the rocks on screen in a 1, 2, 3, 4 repeat order. After mining the second iron ore rock, zoom your camera so the back ladder is at the top of your game client. After positioning your camera, don't change this for any reason until you're done mining. Mining the iron ore should only take one game tick and you should get an ore near instantly. After you receive a full inventory, walk back, climb the ladder, click on the bank area, then click on the bank once you arrive. Deposit your ore, turn your run energy back on, and repeat the process until you have all the ore you would like. In addition, you will be receiving a lot of clue scrolls as well. I always do my clue as soon as I receive them, as you won't be able to get another one if you have a clue stored in your bank. Not to mention, it's an amazing way to break up the monotony of the mining grind as well. You're also going to use up all of your nature runes at this point by superheating iron ore to iron bars. You can also interchange doing this method with mining iron from the 4 rock spawn as well. Again, start in Falador East Bank and take out a staff of fire, rune pickaxe, and a hammer, as well as all of your nature runes. Equip your staff of fire and run to the building next to the party room, then climb down the stairs. Head northwards, then go around the bend and make your way to the 2 rock iron ore spawn. If there's somebody else there, make sure that you world hop. After you do find an empty world, mine an iron ore, then immediately cast the superheat ore spell on the iron ore that you just mined in order to get an iron bar. Click on the other iron ore, superheat it to a bar, and repeat until you get a full inventory of iron bars. You should have plenty of time to mine the ore and superheat it by the time the next iron ore spawns. Then take all of your iron bars, head west to the anvil, and bang out 5 iron plate bodies. Drop them and head back over to the iron rocks to repeat the process until you've used up all your nature runes. You could also choose to pick up the iron plate bodies that you make with an alt and bank them, but in my case I chose not to. Take a look at how many rubies you have in your bank and divide that number by 24. 
In my case, I have 1,586 rubies divided by 24 inventory spaces leaves me with 67 total trips to the crafting guild rounded up. In my case, I need to mine 1,586 gold ore from the crafting guild in order to be able to make 1,586 rings of forging. Since we passed the air altar on the way to the crafting guild, we should make air tiaras on the way there. Start in Varrock West Bank and equip a Staff of Air and your Chronicle. Also, withdraw your Rune Pickaxe, your Law Runes, and your Fire Runes. Teleport with the Chronicle and head back to the Varrock Southwest Mine. Mine all the Silver Ore, World Hop to repeat. Once you have a full inventory, teleport to Varrock, bank the Silver in the Varrock West Bank, and Chronicle teleport to repeat the process. In my case, since I need 67 trips to the Crafting Guild to get all my Gold Ore, and since we can carry 12 tiaras on the way to the Guild, you simply multiply those two numbers together. So in my case, I need to mine 804 Silver Ore this way. After you mine all the Silver Ore that you need from the Varrock Southwest Mine, head to Edgeville and turn all of the Silver Ore into bars, then turn the Silver Bars into Silver Tiaras. Make sure that you have a tiara mold in your inventory when you do this. Bank and repeat. Head to the Falador East Bank, equip your Brown Apron, Air Tiara, Staff of Air, withdraw your Law Runes, Water Runes, and Rune Pickaxe. We're going to do a similar method like we did doing Air Tiara crafting runs in the previous video. Make your way to the Crafting Guild, but head into the Air Altar. Make your 12 Air Talismans and drop them on the way to the Crafting Guild. This time, however, mine all the Gold Ore, World Hop until you fill your whole inventory with 25 Gold Ore. I messed up and took a ring mold on accident, but um, make sure that you mine 25 gold ore. Then you teleport back to Falador, turn all your gold ores into gold bars at the furnace, go bank, and then repeat. And note just again, you do not need a ring mold for this section. With that, this video is concluded. Thank you so much for making it through to the end of the video. Please be sure to clap that like button, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all my future content. I do stream live on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook Gaming every Tuesday and Thursday, so please feel free to hop in and say hi. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!